right? So you definitely want to fight. Okay. <laughs> so I don't have a beef with Batman. And this is, this is a funny thing. Here's what's funny about it. I never had an issue or a beef with Batman until I was, I was in a relationship and my boyfriend and I, we're, we're nerds. Like we, you know, we just, we talk about a lot of nerd and geeky shit. So one day we were talking about superheroes and TV shows and stuff like that. And he was like, I don't even know how it started, but he was just like, yeah, man, Batman to kick Superman's ass. And I was like, first of all, nigga, what? We literally <laughs> had an argument. We almost broke up. Over Batman versus because he said that Batman could beat up Superman. And I was like, you sound dumb. And I don't even know <laughs> what I'm doing in this relationship. You don't get me. You don't respect me. He was like, whoa, how did we get here? No, because think about what you just said. Like, it was a thing. And I'm like, really? First of all, Batman has zero superhero powers. He don't have no powers. All he got is gadgets. And the reason that he has those dope gadgets is because he's a gajillionaire. So the only reason that you got these dope gadgets is because you got a lot of money and you represent white privilege, okay? Because you so rich and you so bored that you decide to fight crime, sir. Sir, <laughs> well, to his defense, crime killed his his parents. So, it was... did crime kill his parents? Though, <laughs> just like everybody else, just like you ain't special. Do you know how many people lost their uncle Tay Tay? Do you That's... know who lost their uncle Charles? You ain't the only one. You no. ain't the only one who been a victim of some sad things. You lost both of your parents. You became an orphan, and you were a gajillionaire. Do you know how many people lost their parents and they had to go to foster care? They had to get adopted, or they had brothers and sisters, and they had to get split up. Shut your ass up, uh, Bruce Wayne. You just... <laughs> and then the fact that somebody, there are people, there are people walking this universe that legit believe that Batman can be Superman in a fight. What? Well, he has in the comics, though. Okay, because the comics are trash. <laughs> the, the comics are trash. Like, he's Superman. Superman can fly. Superman is strong as fuck. What you talking about, Batman? You got gadgets. You ain't nothing but a rich Inspector Gadget. That's all you do. That's all you do. Funny is the the, the reason why you you disagree with the Batman is why I disagree with Superman. Because I feel like Superman represents white privilege because I feel like oh yes, it's gonna be the white man that get every power. I was like, what about the black superheroes? Like, how come none of our black superheroes got? All those and, and that's a fair point. Superman definitely is a representative of white privilege as well. But when we're talking about Batman and Superman, these are two guys that have white privilege. It's very much the equivalent of what happened on the Capitol. It's like Trump supporters versus the police. That's what it was. And that's Batman <laughs> and Superman. And it's like, just let them fight it. Let's see what happens. But if I had to guess, uh, democracy is gonna win which it did they got over 300 cases and they ain't taking no plea deals we don't care if you turned yourself in we not we not lessening these chart nah it's the same thing with batman and superman don't nobody care y'all both are privileged superman you so privileged that you think all you gotta do is put on a hat and glasses and ain't nobody gonna know it's you <laughs> ain't nobody gonna know it's you shut your ass up oh get your ass out of here go ass out of here <laughs> See, look, you know, got my pressure up, young dude. I didn't know we was going to do this today. Well, let's, 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 we respectfully disagree, and you still cool with me. That's all. 